Hello and welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell, brought to you by Livewire Markets. My name's James Marley and I'm joined by Shane Fitzgerald from Monash Investors and John Lockton from Wilson's. We are in the thick of reporting season and the mood is a little bit dour, but not too bad, slightly improving. We're coming out of lockdown and we're going to be talking about a few stocks today that absolutely crushed expectations and our guests are going to talk about a few that are flying under the radar. But Shane, I'm going to start with you, computer share. Uh, great result, buy, hold or sell? It's a buy for us. Um, you know, computer share is a great business, great franchise, but you know, the real interest right at the moment is its exposure to interest rates. You know, the upside surprise came from the uh, corporate trust acquisition they did, and the level of growth that that business um, put on, just from the simple increase in interest rates that we have already seen, was pretty impressive. So there's more of that to come, it's a buy for us. John, are you a buy on computer share? Do you agree with Shane's views? Yeah, we're a buyer of that story. I think it's got the, the cyclical benefit at the moment with, with interest rate leverage. It's also got the longer term structural theme on the trend of outsourcing, so it's a buy. Okay, Nick Scarley, it keeps defying expectations. I read an interesting stat that 85% of its second half sales are on order and need to be delivered, which obviously puts a bit of, bit of pressure on the supply chain. Is it a buy, hold or sell for Nick Scarley? Uh, it's a hold for us. Um, and it's had a phenomenal time over COVID, um, done phenomenally well, and we just worry a little bit that that earnings momentum won't be there when we're talking about 2023. Shane, Nick Scarley is much loved in the small cap sector that you guys surround yourselves in, a buy, hold or sell? Uh, it's a hold for us as well. Um, look, everything that can go right for this business at the moment is going right. The housing market is just crazy strong. Um, and also, you know, because people have been, you know, not going on holidays, their spending patterns have changed. Yeah, my wife has changed all the furniture in the household. I'm not joking. <laughs> okay? New lounges, everything, right? So, look, it, the operating environment doesn't get better than it is right now. Um, why is it not a sell? Because its, it's valuation is pretty modest in terms of the multiples and valuations on. So, it's sort of price that these expectations are going to come off. Yep. Well, Shane, it sounds like you might need a bigger house for all of those new couches your wife's been buying. No, I need a new garage because that's where the old furniture is. My car's on the street. At the <laughs> REA Group, another big stock that, uh, that delivered a good result. Buy, hold or a sell? Uh, that's a hold for us as well, mainly on valuation grounds. Great business. Uh, but once again, you know, the macro environment for at the moment is about as good as it's going to get. Um, but yeah, it's a hold on valuation grounds. Okay. I called my real estate agent today to ask him about the rental market. In his own words, he said it's going nuts. Buy, hold or sell on REA Group? Yeah, look through the near term would be a buy on this stock. Um, it does have the issue with higher interest rates and valuation, but we think a good chunk of that's probably in the, in the share price, which has you know, fallen over the last quarter or so. Um, so it's got the Aussie story going and it's also got a, an improving global story as well. So look through the short term noise, we're a buyer of REA. Okay, John, these are a couple of stocks that really did crush expectations, but what are some, what's the stock that you thought delivered a great result, but just didn't get the market expectation or was overlooked, didn't get the response that you're hoping for? Yeah, I'd flag News Corp, James. Um, it, again, another quarterly beat. It's done almost two years of quarterly beats powered by the US advertising recovery as, as businesses need to spend to drive the top line. And News Corp has a great funnel to collect that extra advertising dollar. Um, I think more importantly, what the market's missing is this business is, is, is worth more than some of the parts in terms of the current share price. And there's potential that they reconfigure their asset base. And we think that Ironically, even selling assets would highlight just how strong some of those core properties are within news and you can see a materially higher share price than where we are at the moment. Okay, Shane, have you got a stock that delivered what you thought was a good result but yep. the market yawned at? Yeah, today, EML. EML I thought was a good result today. It was in line with market expectations, it was in line with company guidance and its stock got sold up 10% at one point today, which I thought was crazy. When you look at EML, it's had a rough time in the last nine months due to you know, regulatory intervention in, in Ireland, uh, you know, COVID impact in their gifts and, uh, gifts and incentive business. But underneath it, what you see in EML is, you know, earnings in the gift and incentive business has at least $10 million in benefit to come through when malls reopen again fully. Uh, interest rates add, a 1% increase in interest rates add 15 million to EBIT. How, how big is that? It's a 20% increase, right? So th there's plenty of earnings growth in EML. And the real kicker here was this company did 20% top line revenue growth when it was constrained on growth because of the regulatory intervention that happened in it. Yeah, once they've got you know, the, you know, the wind behind, behind, behind their sails, you know, the growth rate in this business will be quite impressive. So you know, we think it looks fantastic at the moment. Okay. Well, there's a lot of news that comes out during reporting season, but not all of it gets priced in straight away. I hope you found a few ideas from that show of buy, hold, sell. And remember, if you did enjoy it, Subscribe to us on YouTube. We've got new videos coming out every week.